Welcome, this is NDTV Profit, and we are taking stock of a company which has come through uh, well recently, uh, which is listed on the bosses. We have Gandhar Oil, and we are in conversation with the company to take stock of the sector, as well as how things are panning out for the business too. And for that, to take us through what we can expect going forward, we are in chat with the Joint Managing Director of the company, Aslesh Parikh. Aslesh, uh, good morning. Thanks so much for joining in. My first question to you is to do with uh, the business outlook going forward. Now, we've seen quarterly earnings coming through, but I reckon a lot of that weakness will be account on account of pricing uh, as far as the sector is concerned. Can you talk to us about how things are panning out with respect to well, prices and what sort of a consequent impact has it had as far as revenues go? See, uh, thank you for inviting me on this uh, on this show. Uh, obviously, see, at Gandharal, we got recently listed on the stock exchange uh, in November 23. Uh, we are purely focused on personal care, healthcare, performance oil uh, segment, which is our major uh, category revenue. Uh, the growth has been there. It's not that the, you know, the growth has not declined. There has been a growth. We have seen a volume growth because... Uh, Normally, we see the volume because the dependence on the raw material is, uh, you know, a derivative of a crude oil. So we are primarily depend dependent on our gross margin per kiloliter and the volume growth that we have seen. We have seen a uh, volume growth of more than 8%. And we are quite hopeful that, you know, uh, by end of this year, the volume growth will be in the range of 10 or percent. Uh, apart from that, obviously, you know, Q2, uh, Q3, we, we had a stable earning. I mean, compared to Q2, it was better. But Q3 was a stable earning and we anticipate Q4 is the best performing quarter for Gandhar. And we anticipate, you know, uh, by end of this fiscal, the company would, uh, you know, have a uh, better perspective in terms of profitability and also in terms of uh, the revenue mix. Right, Aslesh, so I, I believe that the realizations have taken a hit because of pricing of white oil out, the, out there. What are the factors in terms of demand and supply that are playing uh, against it? And can we, in fact, expect an uptick when it comes to uh, the oil, white oil prices? See, as you have seen, you know, so much interviews from lots of, lot of FMCG majors, you know, where primarily our products are primarily being used. Uh, there has been a rural, uh, you know, uh, 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 there has been a rural, a rural slowdown on the FMCG uh, sales part of it, that is why you know the white oil sales has had little been little bit been impacted domestically. But if you see at Gandhar, we are not only focused on domestic sales, we are also focused on our export business. Uh, export, you know, as a part of our overseas sale, you know, contributes to more than for uh, more than 50, 52 percent of the total revenue of the company. So you know, irrespective of the domestic, you know, being a little bit uh, you know on the slower side, the export uh, you know has done fantastically well for Gandhar, and uh, even even in the uh, Coming uh, one or two quarters, we anticipate the same trend to continue. Okay, but uh, I suspect there is light at the end of the tunnel. Then, uh, can you talk to us about your current capacities? Uh, and uh, is there any expansion on the annual? Because you have suggested that there has been volumes growth. Uh, based on that, uh, do you have anything uh, when it comes to expansion, brownfield, greenfield, or just about uh, uh, you know getting a steady state of flow? Yeah, see, today uh, we have three manufacturing plants, two in India and one in Dubai. The total uh, capacity is, is around 525,000 kiloliters. We are doing a brownfield expansion in our facilities in India. So we are doing a capacity expansion by 100,000 kiloliters in our Taloja facility and around 18,000 kiloliters, you know, in our Silvasa facility. The 100,000 uh, kil expansion that we are planning in our Taloja facility is expected to be completed by end of this year. Uh, the Silvasa facility of 18,000 kil will be completed by end of next year. Uh, this will take care of our, you know, uh, revenues for the coming uh, three to four years. Okay. Uh, can you talk to us about how things are panning out when it comes to the specialty oil market specifically? Once again here or as well, I believe uh, some of your largest clients will be uh, consumer companies, pharma and plastic companies. Uh, how are things panning out? See, things are, you know, slowly improving, improvising, you know, lots of uh, headwinds, uh, you know, which were being faced in the earlier quarter, you know, are slowly started to span out. And, you know, we are getting robust inquiries from our customers. You know, we have so uh, we have many customers which are working with Gandhar on term contract basis, you know. So the demand is, you know, slightly picking up. And on an export front, you know, the demand is far better than the domestic front, as I informed you earlier. Now, having said that, our capacity utilization, you know, across our Indian facilities around 93, 94 percent. So, you know, with the new capacities uh, coming on stream you know it will be helpful for us you know to focus more on the growth and to ensure that the capacities you know are running to full brain in the coming three to four years hmm. 
Of course, the positive is I believe here that uh, there is a little debt uh, on the books, so that of course always will be a positive. But as you look forward towards that expansion, how will it be funded? See, uh, the expansion, if you see, uh, we, the 100,000 kiloliters facility is basically uh, funded, you know, through a little bit of term debt and par primarily from internal accruals. Uh, for the Silvasa facility, you know, is uh, all funded through the proceeds of the IPO, uh, which we recently did. Uh, so, normally, if you see the debt at, the, uh, at a group level, the long-term debt is, you know, almost uh, negligible. It's not more than four or five crores, uh, which will also be paid off, you know, by maximum till June of this year. So and we do have a short term debt, you know, which is less than five percent of the revenue of the of the of the company. Right. So to Ashish, to understand this better, you're saying that the demand from the consumer space has to improve for white oil demand to increase as well, and that would perhaps determine prices going forward. Uh, and is that uh, uh, the right way to look at things? It is a right way to look at things, but if you see, you know, we at Gandhar are only not focused on demand of white oil uh, in domestic. You know, we at Gandhar are, uh, you know, we are manufacturing more than 400 different products under our Divyol brand category. So, you know, a product uh, going to Unilever would, would not be just one product that is white oil which is going. There are so many other derivatives of the products which are, you know, being supplied to various customers across the segments. We are also supplying, you know, the petroleum jellies, the blend waxes to various customers, not only domestically, but globally as well. But uh, having said that, you know, the rural demand, you know, needs to be improved uh, to ensure, you know, the, the, the growth forecast at Gandhar, you know, could be achieved uh, in a far efficient way. Right. Uh, and a quarter of your demand comes from lubricants, or no, rather not demand, but your revenues. Uh, can you talk to us about the traction that you're seeing uh, with respect to your, your lubricant segment? See, uh, industrial and automotive lubricants put together, you know, uh, contributes around 23, 24% of the revenue at Gandhar. Uh, the demand on the automotive, automotive lubricants is more of a B2C business, you know, where, you know, there is a full uh, dealer distributed model which is in place, you know, the demand, uh, you know, we are, uh, we are seeing a volume and a revenue growth of more than 10 or 12%, uh, you know, uh, in this specific business. The industrial, the industrial oil, you know, which is primarily used, you know, by all the machines, you know, um, the companies which are, you know, having the machineries, you know, we are seeing similar uh, growth rate in, in that industry as well. But if you look at the overall demand perspective, you know, India, uh, we anticipate, you know, the personal care, healthcare, uh, the PHPO demand, you know, to grow up uh, by 10% CAGR over next five years. So that is okay. why, you know, we think the expansion, you know, would be done, uh, would be required at this point of time to take care of the you know, the future uh, growth avenues and aspirations of the company. Sure, sure. Aslesh, we leave it at that. Thank you so much for joining us and taking us through, uh, well, all the challenges that you are facing as well as what we can expect going forward and a lot of optimism there as well. Uh, we wish you the best for the future. Thank you. Thank you so much.